All right, y'all. Today I'm going to be talking about my price prediction for Bitcoin. And when I say price prediction, what I really mean is we're going to do some technical analysis and we are going to determine what is a likely price for Bitcoin to hit if we hit all time highs. If we break above $65,000, what can we expect for the Bitcoin price? What levels of resistance are in our way and what has to happen for us to get there? And when we get there, what price can we expect? But before we get into it, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel because what we do here is we provide technical analysis updates, time sensitive updates, trading strategy tutorials, and other kinds of trading videos going over risk management, psychology, and stuff like that. Make sure to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get into it. So before we understand, before we can even think about what is going to happen in the future for the Bitcoin price, we first need to understand what has happened in the past and what is currently happening in the present. Now, something that's very important is this. You know, up until uh, maybe about a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, it was very unclear whether Bitcoin was in an uptrend or a downtrend. And the reason for that is because if we go to the higher time frames, we can see that after Bitcoin put in the all-time high, we put in this low, and then we rejected off of this very important area of resistance, which is the Fibonacci golden pocket resistance. Now, the reason why that was so significant is because if we're in a downtrend, it's very probable that we would put in our first lower high at this golden pocket and then go ahead and put in a lower low. Now, what has happened is we have officially now switched from potentially bearish market structure to bullish market structure because after putting in the low, we put in a high and now we've officially put in a higher low and now we've also officially put in a higher high right here. And something that is very, very important is the old saying that the trend is your friend until the end. Meaning this, if you are in an uptrend or if you are in a downtrend, it's very probable that that trend is going to continue. So from this point onwards, we are going to take for granted that we are in an uptrend and this uptrend is going to continue. Now that doesn't mean we're not going to have pullbacks along the way because uptrends mean up a lot, down a little, up a lot, down a little. So what I want to do is I want to mark out some levels on the chart, find the areas where it's probable that we will come down a little bit, experience a retracement, and then we're going to obtain some targets that we can expect the Bitcoin price to hit as we continue in this uptrend. Now, we need to also understand the present. Where are we right now? Well, we're actually coming up to some very important levels of resistance. For example, if we pull a fixed range in this area of price action, we can see that we have a high volume node, also known as a point of control, coming in right here at about, you know, right around 57, 57.9 K, give or take. If we go to a weekly time frame, we can also see that um, we have a weekly level of resistance coming in right about here at uh, 58.3 K. So we can see that we have this important area of resistance right here, and I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle around that. We can see that we have this very important area of resistance right here. Now, why is this so important? Because it is possible that we could actually put in a higher high and then get a retracement from here. In fact, if we go to the VIP Discord here, we can see that on October 4th, I gave this potential short setup from the level, the exact level of 57,850, where I had this blue box on the um, on the chart here, where um, I wanted to reject from this level and come down, and these would be the take profits that we would hit. Now, earlier today, we actually did come pretty much right up into this box, and we rejected literally, literally right off the box, you know, um, right off that level. Uh, and we did get quite a, well, not, not a huge dump, but we did get a 2% retracement from that. We got about a 2% retracement from that. We came all the way down to here. If we go to a lower time frame, we can actually see the reaction that happened where we came up to the box and we got like a violent pushback from that box, showing that, yes, we do have some resistance there. Now, this was the trade setup that I gave on October 4th, and then earlier today, that trade setup did get hit. You can see that we rejected it from the box. I had a limit short order that got hit right here. I was hoping to have more 
orders hit, but only one of them actually got triggered. And I was going to try and add more to my position if we came up to this golden pocket retracement. We never came up to it. I didn't get to add more to my position. Even still, it was a pretty juicy short, up 22%. My entry was 57.781. That was the limit order I had set. And then the uh, the clo I, I did lock in some profit here. And so right now, looking at the chart, it's just important that we understand that we are coming up to this area of resistance, okay? If we come back into the box, it would not surprise me if we come a little higher into the box and reject a second time because right now, as we look at the half hour chart, even as we look at the one hour chart, it's possible that as we come into the box, we print bearish divergences on market cipher B. We can see the money flow is coming down. If the money flow is coming down and the momentum waves are coming down, it's very possible that we do run into some resistance here and get a little pullback. Okay, if we go to the four hour time frame looking at market cipher B, by the way guys, market cipher is a leading indicator. It is my primary trading indicator. I do not enter a single trade without looking at it. I do have a 25% discount in the description of this video. Also, if you do want to get into the VIP Discord where I do post my potential swing and scalp trade setups, I'm looking at this as a potential swing trade, but I'm treating it right now as a scalp simply because um, I um, yeah I don't I don't know how 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 far down we're going to come here. But uh, in this Discord, I post daily technical analysis updates. We do two VIP live streams a week where we go over Bitcoin, Ethereum, and multiple altcoins. Every day, I'm giving my trading levels, where I'm looking to take trades from. Uh, on the macro time frame, on the micro time frame, I post potential swing trades, potential scalp trades in here. Um, you know, these are just potential setups, right? I'm not giving signals. I'm giving potential setups, like, for example, this right here, this potential setup, looking to short right here, showing you what I'm looking for on the chart. And if we get that, those confirmations, then we take the trade and, you know, a lot of times the trades happen very well. We also have a thriving community in here of people uh, doing TA and um, sharing charts. It's really cool. It's really cool. And my motto is after I lose all my money shorting the uptrend, I'll make back half my losses from the big short from the top, right? That's my motto. You can access this Discord by going to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. Okay, so if we do come above this area of resistance, okay, whether we get a pullback or not, what are the targets that we are looking for? Well, if we go back to a higher time frame, what I want to do is I want to use a Fibonacci trend based extension tool, and I want to basically take from the bottom here to the first high to that first higher low and project what we can expect. Now notice something here. We are currently coming up to the Fibonacci um, right exactly at this weekly level of resistance. We also have a Fibonacci extension level. So this is a very, very strong area of resistance. We can see that a lot of times these Fib levels are respected. There's a reaction here of some kind. Look at what happens when we come to the um, when we come to the 382 level right here, we do get a reaction here. When we come to the 0.5 level, we do get a reaction here. When we come to the 6.8 level, we absolutely get a reaction right here, right? We come up above it, we lose the level, we come above it, we lose the level, we come above it. It takes a while, it takes a few days before we're able to come above that level. So we're coming up to the next area of resistance. Not only is it a FIB level, it's also a weekly level. It's also a point of control. It's also, if we go to a volume profile chart here, we can see that, um, whoa, what is going on here? Um, hmm. Okay, this is frozen, but we can see that we have a naked monthly point of control there as well. In fact, I can just turn out my chart right here. You can see that we have a naked monthly point of control coming in right here as well. So we have a lot of resistance. Now, if we break above here, my first target will be 63.3K, right about here. This will be my first target. Now, another reason why this will be my first target is because not only is this a one-to-one -one FIB extension, but it's also a daily level. We can see right here, we have a daily level. Let me see, um, right, literally, literally right here, we have a daily level of um, resistance literally coming in right at that one-to-one -one extension about 63.3 K so this will be my next target 
if we can come above 63.3K, then I will be looking toward 70K, and then I will be looking to the 1.618 Fib extension, which is 77.9K. And if we can come above that, then you can see we have the 2.618K at about 100,000. Now, it's not crazy at all to think if we're in this uptrend that we will eventually see these Fib extension levels, especially since uptrends tend to get more parabolic as they continue upwards. Um, you know, we can look at past bull cycles and see that toward the end, things go really, really high, really, really fast. It's not that crazy to think that once we come above 63K, we could come up to 100,000. It's only another 60%. Now, I, I know that seems like a lot, 60%, but if we look at some of the runs we've had in the past, like uh, in 2020, we can see that, you know, we came up about 250%. So it's nothing to say we'll come up another, you know, 50, 60% to hit 100K. And of course, you know, we can put on other FIB extensions here as well and just see, for example, uh, if we put on the, um, the 3.618, okay, now we're looking at like 125K and, you know, we could just continue putting on these FIB extensions. These are levels that tend to be respected by the price. The 4.618, for example, um, is taking us up to close to $150,000. Okay, so these are the targets that I will be looking for if Bitcoin is able to first come above this very important zone of resistance that we're at right here. Okay, this is a zone of resistance. I'm currently looking for shorts here. I'm currently taking shorts here. I'm currently in a short here with the stop loss at my entry. Uh, again, from um, from uh, fifty-seven seven eight one. 57781. So I am short from right about here. And so I've got my stop loss on my entry. I've taken 50% out of the position, kind of hoping that we come down more. Also, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking we might actually get a retracement from here and come back down a little. So I'm still looking to short this area, but I'm remaining overall kind of bullish. Once we come above, um, not this level, but once we come above the daily level at 63.3k which is also the one-to-one -one extension then i will start to get extremely bullish okay so those are pretty much my price targets for the bitcoin now a few things first of all if you don't know technical analysis and you want to know how to mark these levels on the chart so that you can actually look at a chart do some analysis come up with a trading plan in advance so that you know for example on October 4th, when I was doing my analysis, I was able to know that I wanted to take a short from 57,850, and that is the level pretty much that we rejected from. We rejected from 57,884, so $30 higher than the level that I was looking at. What you need to do is go to jasoncaspertrading.com. This course will give you the knowledge and the skills that you need to become a confident, profitable trader. We walk you through step by step, assuming you've never even looked at a chart before. Um, exactly how to do technical analysis. We walk you through how to use the market cipher indicator. This is my primary trading indicator. I use it for every single trade I enter. It's a very powerful indicator. Like I said, there's a 25% uh, discount in the description of this video. I go over six or seven trading strategies that I and myself and many other people use um, already, showing you exactly how to use them. And then we go over risk management mindset so that you can understand how to manage your account uh, so that you don't lose all your money. Even if you're taking losing trades, you can still be profitable over time. There's currently a 30% discount in the description of this video. Also, again, if you want to join the VIP Discord, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. Also, um, if you want to start trading on Bybit or Femex and you want to support the channel, you can use the affiliate links in the description of the video. All right, that is it for right now, guys. Long story short, yeah, I'm basically, if we come above 63.3K, I'm expecting, you know, uh, up to 100K, 150K. And if not, right, if we are unable to come above those levels, then uh, I think we will get a rejection in and see us come back down uh, to lower levels. All right, guys, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.